Welcome to Log Furniture How To, the most all inclusive site on the net for log and rustic furniture, fixtures, and decor. That's logfurniturehowto.com. Hello and welcome to another installment of Building and Caring for Your Log Furniture Products. I'm Gary Clifton, owner of Mountain Time Chairs, and today's installment is going to be about measuring and drilling uh, the logs for the side frames for the chairs. Uh, two 20 inch arms, two 25 inch back legs, two 27 inch front legs, and then you get two 30 inch backs. The first thing you want to do is start with your arms and you want to kind of pair them up. You can see how these logs have a little bit of a kink to them and so you want to, when you're measuring for the holes, you want to just make sure that when they go together that they're both kind of going not the same way but the opposite way of each other so that when the chair goes together you'll have a uniform side frame. So in the case of these two arms I'm going to have the bow going in on both sides. To take a tape measure and all these measurements are going to be 16 inches from the tenon end. That's 16 inches from the tenonized end out. Just make, want to make a little mark at 16 inches. And you want to do that to each pair. Now I'll take the back legs. The other thing you want to watch out for is, is checking. Anytime you have a, a deep check, you don't want to drill into that deep check. So in the case of these back legs, again I'm going to have the bow going opposite of each other. Measure 16 inches. Make your mark. And the front legs, the 27 inches. Pair them up. Sixteen inches. And then your backs. Get them all marked, it's time to drill them. Now when you drill them, you only want to go an inch and a half deep. That's why I have this blue tape on our uh, drill bit here, so we know when to stop. Because if you don't want to go too deep or you'll go through the other side, you don't want to go not deep enough or the tenon won't seat properly into the hole. You want to drill it on a 90 degree angle. You don't want to drill at an angle at all. A, a perfect 90 degree angle. And then check and see if you're an inch and a half deep, which I am, so that when you put, the, put it together and assemble it, it shoulders out right at that inch and a half mark. So I'll drill the rest of these. Take these parts that we drilled over the assembly block here and we'll show you how to put them together. 